sky gazers around the world were able to glimpse a partial lunar eclipse while September's full harvest moon shone brightly Tuesday night. The moon peaked at its fullest at 10.35 p.m. ET Tuesday, but will appear full through Thursday morning, according to NASA. If you viewed the moon on Tuesday evening, for about an hour it also appeared as if a bite has been taken out of it due to a partial lunar eclipse. A partial lunar eclipse occurs when Earth moves between the sun and the full moon without being perfectly aligned. The celestial event appeared over Europe and much of Asia, Africa, North America and South America. The moon entered Earth's full shadow at 10.13 p.m. ET and exited it at 11.16 p.m. ET. The peak of the eclipse was expected to occur at 10.44 p.m. ET, according to NASA. During a total lunar eclipse, Earth's shadow can turn the moon's surface a striking red color, which is known as a blood moon, according to NASA, but that won't be the case this week, experts said. The eclipse Tuesday will not be a total lunar eclipse, so the moon won't appear red, instead a portion of the moon will darken, said Noah Petro, NASA project scientist, for both the Lunar Reconnaissance, Orbiter and Artemis 3. If you didn't know it were happening, or even look at the moon, it might not be noticeable. But the keen observer may notice the top right corner of the moon darker than the rest of the moon he said via email. This is the part that is completely in Earth's shadow, though not a large portion of the moon will be in darkness. But if it's clear out I encourage folks to go out and look, it's always worthwhile to look at the moon. September's full moon is also considered the second of four consecutive supermoons expected in 2024, according to NASA. Definitions of a supermoon can vary but the term generally denotes a full moon that is closer to Earth than normal and thus appears larger and brighter in the night sky. Some astronomers say the phenomenon occurs when the moon is within 90% of perigee, its closest approach to Earth in orbit. While the typical distance between Earth and the moon is an average of 238,900 miles 384,470 to kilometers. September's full moon was expected to be just 222,637 miles, 358,300 kilometers away, according to NASA. And keep an eye out for Saturn, which will look like a bright dot close to the full moon.